West Strike, we support Act Against Bullying. Um, what motivated me were probably Power Rangers. Same me and Power Rangers. Danny as well. So, but ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to uh, take up martial arts. That's what my parents told me. So, um, but I think Power Rangers played a big part. Definitely. Want to be a Power Ranger? Yeah, I have um, all the way through uh, school, really. Uh, mainly secondary school, all the way through. And um, I think martial arts really helped me. Uh, to fight against bu bullying and uh, just raise my confidence but I think overall it made me a stronger person uh, from what I experienced. Well if you get you know if you're getting bullied at school it's not it's not a big deal you just got to try and you got to try and go through it. A lot of bullies are just jealous of what you've got or something like that or you know they want to try and look good in front of their friends so it's just kind of thing, just rise above it and just move on from it, you know. It, it, it's just, just jealousy mainly, so. Um, just get motivated, try and raise your confidence and believe in yourself. And uh, we want to show our support. Yeah, I think it's a great cause. That we're, we're really big on, you know, uh, showing kids that they have got the confidence. They just need to find it and then just dig in deep. And yeah, it's a great cause. We'd love to be a part of it. I speak at quite a lot of conferences about bullying and very often they'll say, right, you know, what advice do you give children who are bullied at school? And terribly difficult, really. So I came up with just three things I could remember, A, B and C. A, awareness, B, body language, C, communication. This was to help me remember what I had to say. So the first thing about awareness is telling children or letting them recognise when they are being bullied. You said you had problems at school. Did you know it? You know it inside, don't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it does affect your, um, your whole life, really. When you come back home from school, you're still thinking about it all the way through. And just before you go to sleep, it really affects you. Um, but like you said, I think body language is one of the, the main things that we try and concentrate yeah, we on when we teach when we teach students, we just get them to walk from one side of the room to the other, just uh, just to show that how, how good their like, body, body language is. And instead of being like this, number one, we tell them to sit up straight and smile and be like number 10, because I think that the people that get bullied usually are the, the people that are the most shy and unconfident, really. So it's just raising that confidence, and I think yeah. that really does help. It's interesting because some of the um, anti-bullying people used to teach children who were very, very sensitive, you should shout, you know, stop this and stop that. Of course, it, it, it you know, naturally that, that works against the grain. So I often used to, to say to children, look, if you find yourself not being able to confront somebody straight on, just try and lift your head a tiny bit, just tweak it a little bit, a yeah. little bit like that. Anything like that can help. Now, what other tips, uh, I suppose, one of the interesting facts for me, cyberbullying came along a few years ago. You are quite big now online. What kind of thing do you find on, on, online? Do you, do you find people very rude or very um, friendly? Or have you had any problems in not, the not, cyber world? Not really, no. It's like uh, we've had m most of the comments we get are all good comments. People enjoy what we do. But then you get, like, like I was saying, saying earlier, it's jealousy a lot of people. They're jealous of what you've got, so they try and bully, bully you and try and make you feel lower because they want what you've got. But I think uh, we've had, had one or two comments with jealousy and stuff, but most of them are, they are like what we do, so it's just... Yeah, we try to ignore all those ones and we never scroll down past that, that mark. We just, uh, if we see the videos on, we'll watch that, but then then I think it's below, then you uh, you get people that do, want everybody wants to like, slide you down and bring you down, I think. I think it's, it is it's yeah. just jealousy, though, I mean, trying, you've got to try and rise above. It is hard sometimes, but you've got to ignore it. And I think that's the main problem. A lot of people, when when people do achieve something good, I think some people try to bring them down instead of uh, being happy for them. So, so encouraging, yeah. yeah. There were three reasons, really, that I set up AAB. Um, the first, I, I wanted to help children. Um, obviously touches me, uh, kids that are, are bullied, um, and I wanted to get practical advice. I also wanted to try and motivate them, that's why I loved your act, because you can't regulate against bullying, it's one of those, those situations, yeah. 
you can't pass laws against it. But what you can do, I think, is um, with people who are being bullied or victimised, you can try and um, build them up again. So Act Against Bullying is very motivational. And so you going around schools saying that you're supporting Act Against Bullying is absolutely terrific because they look at what you're doing and it's exciting. And I think yeah. that is very, very good. The third thing um, was to, this was ridiculous at the time, but try and refashion kindness. Six, seven years ago, it was very fashionable to be a bully. And so that's why Act Against Bullying started up as the Call to Be Kind campaign. Now, how do you find this? Do you find that kindness is, is, is seen as something, as a weakness, or can you help to refashion it? You're kind guys, you're brilliant guys, what message can you take to schools for us? I think so, yeah, like you say, it is always going to be hard, like you say, oh, if you're a bully, they go, I think it's just an intimidate a lot of people, so it looks like a lot, but I think, yeah, I think kindness, if you're, you're a kind person, you do good, you get done good for you, and I think it is a pretty powerful thing. It's all about respect as well, and that's what we teach our, our students, we teach kids when we're going to schools that uh, everybody wants to be treated um, like you, um, you treat other people so you've got to treat people good to get, get uh, treated good back so I think that plays a big part of respect and ties into kindness as well. So. Absolutely. Well thank you very much for supporting Atkins. No worries. No worries. We're delighted to have you aboard. That's thank you. Thank you. Thank you.